the no hair. So, as Peter pointed out, we're expecting Osbilan to go straight to the front, and indeed he does. Must have been listening to us, but there we go. Setting out his stall immediately, and in very similar fashion to the way Tesfai ran the first heat. Well, we think this is a good tactic. Perhaps it's a bit audacious and extravagant, but certainly getting to the front and putting a bit of daylight between yourselves and the rest of the men in the race is the best way of avoiding trouble. Well, if anything, this is an even more powerful run than Tesfai. He's opened up a gap already of 25 metres. With 1,200 metres to go. Yeah, it's almost the full straight of the first bend in this arena. Well, Tesfai, we've, we've seen adopt similar tactics in the first heat and Tanui clearly thought well anything he can do I can do better at the moment a very very long way back to the man in second at Musotti the Italian so now we're just really watching a solo time trial from Osbilan of course, he does have great credentials outdoors as well. Personal best outdoors of 3.31.30. Well, just a bit like the previous race, this has turned into a battle for the second automatic qualifying spot, and it's O'Hare who's moved into the front. 151.23 at 800 metres. Well, that, that's extraordinarily fast, isn't <laughs> it? It really <laughs> is. I mean, um, there is a must be a danger in blowing up off of that pace. He would win regional championships over 800 metres in many Western European countries. Well, I mean, that's close to a sort of world record schedule. Yeah. And, um, that's a bit extravagant. But behind him, running a little bit more sensibly, although obviously it's going to be a battle for the second place. It's O'Hare in the white vest of Great Britain showing very well Kadiri he's on course to run a personal best at this stage the Cypriot so the remaining six runners all bunched 150 meters behind well, not quite 150 more like about 120 meters behind Osbilan Tanui Well, just like in the preceding heats, the gap's starting to close now as the runners behind them starting to make their mark and have their own private battle. And O'Hare is really starting to motor here. Very good job indeed by O'Hare. Looking at this stage, is very, very comfortable and confident. And Osbilan at the bell going through in around 3.12. Well, he's just easing back. We can see that now. He can probably go through the gears unless he's really done something ridiculous and really tired but O'Hare is really starting to get up on his shoulder well the wheels have come off Osbilan and he's looking very very laboured indeed and the Italian Busotti is coming fast on him well just found enough now but suddenly it did look as though Osbilan having looked so comfortable for 1200 metres it was all just unravelling badly O'Hare takes it. the win there, 3.41.83. Hare takes it, 3.41.83. Osbilan, 3.42.23. And around five seconds off his personal best for Bosotti Neves Jr. 3.42.82.